Die A können wir schon mal freigeben. Oh, 
And uh, so I do think that there's a negative tag uh, uh, and a negative uh, kind of feeling about the show from people who've never really heard it. I cool, I'm cool with people who have heard it and go, mm. I have listened to it enough that I can justify that it's rubbish. Mm. I hate it. But. <laughs> no, but you're right, though, because certain people... They do like the show. They've almost got to justify the fact that they're not a moron and an idiot. Yeah. They're actually semi-intelligent yeah. with, you know... So, thank you to everyone who's listened and supported us. And, and, I, and I, by the way, I have nothing written down or planned to say at the end of the show. I have no big speech. Uh, I will just... I, was, I haven't planned anything. I just mm. thought something would come out. As it kind of turns mm. out, I'm saying something now. So, well, I'm very proud of everyone on the show and the team. They've been uh, brilliant. And our audience have been brilliant. And I struggle with the word, uh, using the word fans sometimes, because the, the radio DJs don't have fans. They might have loyal listeners, but they don't really have fans, per se. Not many radio DJs do, but we do. We've got a massive 
die-hard following of fans. And I wrote that on Twitter last night and just thought, but we do. So, so thanks very much. And with that, I'm leaving early. Bye-bye. No, please God, don't. You know what, for a minute then, I thought you were going to play a song. Send it in, Dave. Like quarter to Imagine. Um, someone emailed us yesterday to point out that yesterday's show was eight years, eight months, and eight days. No way, really? On air. Wow. Really? Yeah. How does that work? We should have known that. We could have had T-shirts made with Triple That should have been our last day, yeah. really, shouldn't it? Mm. Oh, well. 888. Eight, eight. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I've just been working on <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, hello to everyone who's watching, wherever you are around the UK. Maybe you're outside the UK. Maybe you're the other side of the world watching on the website. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I don't know what's on today's show. I don't know if we have. I don't know what we've got. No, neither do I. I know it's just us. No yeah. idea. Talking Maybe rubbish. And Can I line. jump in then and say there are... A couple of little surprises, but that yesterday was the celeb guests. Yes. There's no celeb guests. Right, yeah. Right. There's no massive, you know, thing at all. It's us, basically. Us and the listeners. With the odd little thing. Yeah. It's, yeah, we're going to try and get as many listeners on our last show as possible, because mm -hmm. you guys have been there for the whole thing, so thank you. Yay! Mm. But there will be the odd little surprise, obviously. Okay. Are we going to wake up all in a shower together and Andy Parfit is lying in bed asleep <laughs> going, I've got to go to work at Radio 1 and we're going to go, oh, that was weird. That was weird. I think pride is the emotion that I've got rather than proper sadness. I don't feel sad. No, I don't. At all. I am very proud of what we've done because eight and a half years is a long time to do any job. But getting up at half four in the morning for eight and a half years doing this type of job, it's a hell of an achievement, mm. I think. Genuinely. You know, before Radio 1, I worked at Capital Radio. Yeah. Mm. And I worked there for 53 weeks. And before Capital Radio, I worked for a, a stream of radio stations. And from the first radio station I started at, in my local station Leeds, Radio Air, I was there, I was there as a T-boy and all that. And then I got on the radio and I worked on the radio for about a year and a half, something like that. Then I worked to, went to work for Radio Luxembourg. And after nine months, it closed down. Then I went to work for The Pulse in Bradford, and after 11 months, I got fired. Mm, yeah. Then I went to work for Signal Radio in Stoke, and after um, 11 and a half months, I got fired. Fired again. Then I went to work for Chilton Radio, and after six weeks, they got taken over. Um, the people, new people kept me. I stayed for one year. When I got to Capital, I stayed for 53 weeks, and I was delighted that I'd managed to last longer than a year somewhere. Mm. <laughs> And then I went to Radio World, and that was 15 years ago. Mm. This is the longest job. I've been here longer than I went to school. Yeah. yeah. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It is. That is an achievement. No, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't mean that. I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to I'm so institutionalised. Yeah. I might just turn up Monday morning and just clean. It's not weird, though, when you say, yeah, we've been here longer than we've spent at school. Yeah. yeah I can vividly remember the first time you walked in the studio before your first ever show really yeah well i was here wasn't i yeah. i was doing the i was working on the show before her. yeah do you remember taking photos of each other on the first day who us we took photos little polaroids of us on our oh, first on the day. breakfast show yeah oh sorry did yes we? Did yeah. yeah we did they're oh, around upstairs oh, they, sat, they, sat, they sit on the wall on the pillar next to oh, is, that, is that from the first day yeah oh, i don't know my mum nicked mine when she was in the office yesterday right for mm. keeps but uh, Rachel's is there, and I think a few of us are there. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. I really want Alan to go this morning. I oh, really want oh, you to easy. cry today. There's, there's, no, I don't, there's no doubt in my mind that I almost crying. went when Dave said such nice stuff. Yes, he never says nice stuff Yeah, when me. you said nice yeah. stuff. Yeah. So he said nice stuff the, yesterday. <laughs> we should say as well. Just nice stuff. I do sometimes say nice stuff. Not very often, I, I grant you, but to I'm you, joking. Pippa and Freya, for yesterday as well. Exactly. It was yeah, brilliant. Man. Well done. And was, Jenny. Mm, don't fantastic. forget yeah. Jenny. Jenny. Jenny from the blog. It was like, we were describing it as um, Aled, like Charlie's Angels. There was the three girls and me, and mm. for the last three weeks, we've just been here day and night. But it was worth it in the end. Mm. And, the, and the people who turned up backstage, you know how sometimes big egos and stuff... You get the odd story about... You might say Sarah Cox, aren't you? Difficult <laughs> artists. Yeah. Well, you she's, know, no she's, names. She's bad news. <laughs> but yesterday had apparently the best field backstage. Everyone was lovely. Apparently, everybody... And then... 
like somebody's uh, Lynn was saying to me yesterday, she goes, oh, it's really nice. Then Rizzle Kicks came up in the balcony. And I'm like, when? She's like, the end, because they wanted to watch the end of the show. Mm. Yeah. I said, what, they stayed? She goes, yeah, they stayed. Pretty much everybody stayed till 10 o'clock. Yeah, they did. James yeah. Gordon was James Gordon went in the balcony, too. yeah. Sure, I didn't realise. Really? My, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. My kids got photos of them with Rizzle Kicks and stuff. They were over the moon. Oh. Couldn't believe it. No, oh. yesterday I thought I, I thought it was a stunning it was show so yesterday special. all around. So. I went for, um, I went, we did some bits and bobs and... Um, Met a few people, signed a few pictures, went outside, and then met a couple from Texas who had c flown over, yeah. especially to be around for the last couple Good of shows. Man. Amazing. And they didn't apply for tickets because I think you had to be a UK resident, yeah. so they didn't apply. So I said, well, why don't you just come in and sit the back for the last little bit, which was really nice. Mm. So they did. Um, and then went for lunch with some mates and we were all talking about it. And then I had to... <laughs> I had to go and work. I had to, it's like the reality of life, which just continues. And uh, I had to then, and then I was then I was dressed as Herod at uh, nine o'clock last night in a rehearsal room somewhere in London. Going, it's my last show tomorrow. Mm, yeah. You know, that's weird. Uh, Can I jump in? Yeah, ma'am. First surprise of the day, little, little surprise. A flasher. Are we hungry? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what? Honestly, starving. Yeah, I'm starving as Dom, well. Dom, you don't think he's got you your favourite morning dish? Sweet and sour King, King prawn, prawn balls. balls. No. Who is it? Can't this is see. John, who is one of Jamie oh. Oliver's top chefs. Oh. Oh. Morning, John. Oh. Morning, John. Morning, John. Morning, John. And Jamie Oliver sent him in to cook us some uh, sausage and bacon rolls. No. Oh. Very well. Hang on, in the building, it, mm. in the den where there's Joking. a kitchen. Remember that time we got told off from I the know. toaster? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Cheers, John. Wow. That's really nice, Thanks, pal. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Jamie, as well. Thank yes. you very much. So, what would everyone want? Hey, John. What, John. John. I love this already. Where do you work? Fifteen. <laughs> Which one? Barbacoa. Oh, barbacoa. barbacoa. We've been love there. Barbacoa. Nice. Yeah. Where are you from, John? Been there a few times. Did you say barbacoa? He works in Barabakawa. Yeah, boys. <laughs> well, thank you, John. Nice to meet you. Thank oh, you, John. Kid. What a That's nice thing. Already this morning's going to be amazing. I Great. told you that would be handy, yeah. being friends with Jamie Oliver at some time or another. Already this is my favourite show. He's in proper yeah. chef whites and everything. Yeah. You know, Dave is very, very close with Dom Perignon. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Dom go way back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we used to go karting together. And Did see, you? one of <laughs> Tina's friends, Chris Tal. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to put a little message out on air uh, to Will. To see if we're thinking the same. Oh. So, yeah. So, uh, thinking the same. No one thinks the same as Will Kinder. If Will and I are on the... <laughs> let's, on, let's hope. Ever. On message here. Um, unfortunately, Jamie Oliver couldn't come in himself. He wanted uh, to come in. He's not around. He, the guy's way. never around. He's mm. always working. And that's why he sent John. Oh, I love that. I'm that's very sweet John. of him. Yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Thank mm. you, John. Thank you. That's very kind. Uh, how can I hear that? Was he Will said say, ready. Okay, Will, uh, go for it. Oh. Hello, Mr. Chris Moyles and everyone at the Radio mm. 1 team. I just want to do a big shout out of love uh, on Chris's last day at Radio 1. Man, the longest serving DJ on Radio 1. Oh. Phenomenal. What an incredible time and what a brilliant job you've done. Well done, mate. I'm really excited about what you do next. Of course, you've got TV and all sorts of films, all sorts of stuff going on. <laughs> and you're always welcome to come back to Mr. Oliver, who taught you to cook. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. So listen, if you and the Radio 1 team want to come down to one of the restaurants, send me one of those dirty little texts and you can come down and yes, you can have a meal on me. Oh. Oh. No worries. Lots of love, man. Take care. Cheers, oh, Jamie. Thank That's you very nice. much. Thank you, Jamie. Top fella. And yes, I will be doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next Tuesday. Tina's already texting. Yeah. <laughs> Walking in with all your family going, have you have you met the uh, yeah. manager of uh, Barbara Car? Have you met the Chris Moore show before? <laughs> no, I'm new. This is Dominic. Oh, I didn't. You look completely different. <laughs> yeah. And this is Dave. Mm. And this is Alan. Yeah. Really? Okay. That's really nice. Thank you very much. Thanks, yeah. Jim Bobs. Really Thank nice. You. This is a good day already, I love isn't it? it. Mm. Yeah. Not even seven o'clock. Tell you what. Huh? T tears Stop of crying. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten. <laughs> love it. I was just thinking, what was I going to have for my breakfast oh, today? There you go. I'm going to go sausage. I was say, well. diets are off now, aren't they, today? Uh, Gaz on the M42. He goes, hi, team. 18 stone trucker and a right mess. All the best, Gaz. Thanks, Gaz. He's obviously having mm. a tear up. Thanks, well, you'll be all right, Gaz. Just keep on. Keep on trucking. Uh, <laughs> hey, we should play the truck driving song. Yes, can we? Oh, I think I lost that. <laughs> you love the truck driving song. It's about my other half. <laughs> and he doesn't wear high heels. 
<laughs> really? Was it about an ex? Pardon? It was about him, no meal. Yeah, but I thought he loved that song. Did you not? He's probably never heard it, but to be fair. But do you, do you not like it anymore? I don't know. Oh. You sound very Californian that you when cry? you said that. Do you know what? I'm going to say I don't, I don't know. know. I'm going to say I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Uh, What's wrong? Talk to me. Nothing. No, go on. No, nothing's wrong. Are you wrong. going? No. Is it going to make you cry? Out. Come on, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. You'll feel better. I think how much work let you put into this show. Get off your chest. And now it's all over, it sunshine. No, I'm not there yet, actually. Oh. Think about that oh. build-up of emotion like a pressure cooker inside okay. your heart. Think about this. Let it explode. When your paycheck comes in for the end of September, it will only have... One and a half weeks' wages on it. Yeah, yeah he's, he's gone. I know, I'll, <laughs> do I'll do it. I'll say, Alan, your Twitter follower is going to half. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, Alan, say goodbye to morning payments. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, the Twitter thing, that, that was that was low blow, yeah. so to speak, <laughs> Tina. <laughs> Trying to make him cry, not put him in casualty. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him where it hurts. It'll happen later. I will cry. So, good morning uh, to everybody listening, wherever you are. Good morning to everybody who's watching on the screen. Good morning to, to you. If we're sitting in your lap, and you're watching on your phone because you can watch on your phone. Now I've got Wi-Fi here, mm. so I should see how easy it is mm. to watch. So on my, I've got an iPhone. So what I did was I, um, I made a shortcut link to the Radio One web page website because Radio One doesn't have an app. So, but you can make a shortcut. So it looks like me, an by app. Way. That really you ready? me. Let's just show you this, right? So press Radio 1, BBC loading, right? And then it should say, uh, oh, Carly Rae Jepsen, Reading and Leeds, Innuendo Bingo. We're normally oh. front page. Oh. But it's so easy on the website, mm. bbc.co.uk forward slash Radio 1. Oh, you could just listen like the old-fashioned way. Yeah, yeah, with your ears. That's fun too, isn't it? Uh, thanks to the 10,000 text messages that we've had already. Wow. Which we've never had in half an hour before. <laughs> now, there you go. Front page. What? On the... Did you, that, do you have on the shortcut? Actually, I don't. I just pressed uh, radio, my Radio 1 link in my favourites. That's what I did. I can listen, though. I can listen to the show. I can listen, though. I can listen to the show. Oh, I hate his voice. Mm. Who is that bloke? He's a nobody. They're finishing soon, apparently. Oh, and about time, too. Yeah. Big Ed. <laughs> do you want to play a song before the news, or do you just want to get into it? Such yeah, let's. What do you I've got a yeah. feeling to talk to you about. Yeah, okay. Really? Nothing major. Discuss just, our know, jingles and stuff. Mm. It's our last Chris Moyles show ever in the morning on Radio 1 this month. So, thank you for tuning in. 81199 on the text, at Chris Moyle Show on Twitter.